Good day, everyone. This is Teacher Bell, and welcome to another learning opportunity here on Lessons Made Easy. In this video, we will be answering questions about BMI. What does BMI stand for? How do you calculate the BMI? What unit of measurement is used for BMI? All these questions will be answered in this video, so let's get started. The acronym BMI stands for Body Mass Index, and its value is derived from the mass and the heights of a person. The unit used for BMI is kilograms per square meter. Given this information, it is clear that in calculating the BMI, we need the weights and the square of the heights. To understand BMI better, let's try to calculate this example. Suppose an adult person has a weight of 63 kilograms and a height of 1.65 meters. To get the square of the height, we simply multiply the given value by itself. In this case, it's 1.65 times 1.65. And we get a product of 2.7225 square meters. To calculate BMI, we need the weights divided by the square of the heights. In this example, the weight is 63 kilograms divided by the square of the heights, which is 2.7225 square meters. And this would give us a BMI that's rounded off to 23.14 kilograms per square meter. Let's try another example. Given a weight of 80 kilograms and a height of 172 centimeters, how would you calculate the BMI? The weight is already in kilograms, so there's no need to change anything. However, the height is in centimeters, so we need to convert this unit to meters. Since there are 100 centimeters in one meter, Therefore, 172 centimeters would be equal to 1.72 meters. Then, take the square of the heights by multiplying this number by itself. That would be 1.72 times 1.72. And we get a product of 2.9584 square meters. Now that we are ready to calculate the BMI, take the weights divided by the square of the height. That is 80 kilograms divided by 2.9584 square meters. This would give us a BMI that is rounded off to 27.04 kilograms per square meter. Your BMI is important because you'll get to know if you are at a healthy weight. Let's look at the chart of the body mass index in relation to the weight range. A BMI below 18.5 means a person is underweight. A BMI between 18.5 to 24.9 means a person's weight is normal. Between 25 to 29.9 means a person is overweight. And if the BMI is over 30, this indicates that a person is obese. Although your BMI can monitor if you are at a healthy weight, it has limitations. The BMI cannot tell the difference between excess fat, muscle, or bone. The adult's BMI does not take into account age, gender, or muscle mass. This means very muscular adults and athletes may be classified as overweight or obese even though their body fat is low. Adults who lose muscles as they get older may fall into the healthy weight range even though they may be carrying excess fat. Pregnancy will also affect woman's BMI result because as the weight increases, your BMI will go up as well. So it is always best to maintain a balanced diet and good health habits. It is very essential that we stay healthy all the time. As the saying goes, health is wealth. 
And again, I'm inviting you to check out my other interesting lessons in this channel. And don't forget to subscribe for more educational videos only here on Lessons Made Easy. So this is me, Teacher Bell, saying thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Stay safe, everyone, and have fun learning.